Hello friends, welcome to Channel Raisa Blade. I'm your friendly neighborhood Raisa. Uh, today I have a tutorial for you. It's a sheer spring sparkle look. I've done a couple of manicures for you. Um, pretty cute. I know my hands are in rough shape, but some of you have mentioned that I don't need to wear gloves when I'm having an inflammation flare up so here I am anyway it does regardless of my hands it does feel good to be wearing my nails um, because it's always sad when I create them and I you know I end up doing my video with gloves on anyway but none of that really matters now because I have some sparkly things to show you that you can wear during spring I've uh, put a couple of ideas together and I think this is a pretty fun spring look. Um, if you're new here, I'm not going to do my normal spiel except to tell you that my channel is Raise a Blade. Welcome. And I do tips, tricks, tutorials, all sorts of stuff. And I like to add my own spin to just about everything. So <laughs> prepare for it. Anyway, so today uh, we are doing a, a pretty simple tutorial. We're starting with some sheer polish. So... I've used some um, clear tips this time, just a nice little variation. Um, I hope you enjoy. So the first step uh, that is involved in getting one of these looks is you're gonna put down a jelly polish with either color or white or something to sort of make a base of whatever color it is that you're looking for. For these, I did a sheer and then I did a wash of a of another different color um, and then for these I did kind of a yellow gold base and then a purple base for the other two or three rather if you count my thumb so for these I've put together a sheer base uh, whitish now this particular um, thing that I'm using is Phoenix Tears um, Actually, I think that name was changed, but I don't remember exactly what it became. This is a graceful polished hopper that I'm almost certain isn't available anymore. But if you have any kind of um, sparkle polish that has a, a pretty sheer coverage, it will work. You can use a sheer white if you want and then just put a bunch of glitter on top of it. For these little samples here, I have used... Um, this is a sheer... Uh, China glaze color that I have had to label as sheer because they keep trying to use it not sheer this is called there she rose again um, and then for the blue I have a LA colors hypno holographic polish that is called surreal and then I tried to do like a like a base of this color um fig flash but it didn't really pick up any color so I went to there is another OPI collection there's an OPI collection that I have um, on most of the colors in I can't remember what it's called but this one is rainbows a go-go um, these are really cool they're sheer they're sparkly um, they're good um, and I in fact they're what I used for the wash of color over the tips on these so uh, once we've got our sheer coat down that's actually what I have on the right side of each of these. So once we've got our sheer coat down, I'm going to put another coat just to show you how I would do it. I take off most of the polish if it's um, one that can be thickened to opaque. And you don't really have to worry about that if it's a really hard jelly polish to get opaque. Now these aren't what I use. Um, these magnetic display things are not what I use to make my nails. They're not stable enough. Uh, in my opinion, I get a message about them. Hey, I thought these were what people used about once a week, which is why I talk about them so much. I use the standard disposable command hooks, um, and then I buy the generic ones too. Anyway, in case you were wondering about that. Uh, also, um, once I put that color down, then I start on the sparkle. So I have a sheer blue sparkle here. This is from, oh gosh, Five Below, I think is the French paint, Fresh Paint brand. Um, and then I put the color down and I have a few other types of sheer glitter. Uh, this is one of those tutorials where it's like, well, what do I use? Well, what do you have? I'm not making this tutorial so that you can have to buy a bunch of stuff. I'm making this so that you can kind of switch out what you have, like your own personal superpower. I don't know why that's what I said. 
Anyway, so the sparkle goes on top. And then you see eventually this will match this and this is what I'm prepared to stamp on. For the pink, I want to show you because that's it, I'm really digging that look. For the pink, I used the rose from China Glaze and then I used these two things on top of it. This is a Wet n Wild glitter that is pinkish. I don't know its name. That's okay. And then here is a LA Colors dollar store polish that is like a sheer pink iridescent. So I used one of each of those on this nail and I'll bring it on up to show you. I really like this one. They do tend toward jelly sandals look. If you grew up with those, you'll know what I'm talking about. I know that people tend to like to redo their nails in these. Anyway, once you have this level, uh, you can put a layer of um, top coat on. This is a hollow top coat by Northern Lights. Uh, it is a quick dry, but it, it doesn't like dry as thick and protective as something like Sesh V or Glisten and Glow or Vibrant Vinyls. But it does add just a bit of glitter to it. More if you, if you have a shaking machine or you're really strong. More. Sorry about all my vocal fry today. I could just be hearing myself a lot and hating it. It's allergy season. I have Disco Ball. Nope, nope, this is called a Glitter Glam. There is a Disco Ball by Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, but this is not it, apparently. So that's a bunch of different sparkle options you have. Um, what do you do right before you stamp, I ask? You ask? Well, you put down your color wash if you want one. I like to put it near the tip. Um, for these, I'm doing kind of a C, C effect color wash. So this is one of the sticker collection from Linby Designs that I have. I don't know if this will look great. We'll see. I just want a, a different kind of, kind of a gradient look. This is in the same family. This is a blue green. Yeah, I like that. It kind of changes toward the bottom and you're gonna let that dry. I like that a lot. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the bright pink from the sticker collection that I have over here. Oh, I did wanna show you these center two. The base that I used was Sheer Matte Frosted Sugar Cookie by Sinful Colors. I got that recently at Walmart. I think you can probably get it if you still want it. So to do the color wash on the white nails, I'm gonna use this super hot pink before I stamp. So just a bit of color. And if you're getting really vibrant color and you don't really want anything much more, then you can always wipe the brush off on a paper towel and then use your brush to remove a little bit of that color. I don't mind this at all. I want to make sure to wrap the tip to get my color all the way down. And that is how I did that one. So let me start stamping now because guess what? We're already almost done. This is craziness, right? So here are the three plates that I used in some of my samples. This What's Up Nails Plate B074 is this egg on the tip here. That is what I used for that. On my left hand, I have Some Bunny Loves You, um, which is, oh, I didn't, I didn't rinse this one off at all. Hello Spring by Uber Chic. Let's get a little bit of acetone involved here so that I can actually show you that plate because I think this is the first time I'm using this plate in a video. Um, you, if you're watching my videos on a regular basis, you probably know that I love the gnome trend. I grew up with gnomes. I had a little terrarium at my elementary school with gnomes in it that was changed out all the time. So here are the really cool images that are appropriate for this sort of sheer sparkle look, jelly sandal look 
in the springtime. Okay, all sorts of stuff, including somebody loves you. Um, but also there are all sorts of fun spring gnomes. Very, very cute. I'm really loving these. Look at with the ears and the egg and the ears and the flower and the ears and coming out of an egg. They're just all so cute. They're also spring rain boots and all sorts of other fun things. So yes, this is a great plate, $15. I got mine at Lantern and Wren. And they ship out so fast, you, you will barely even notice that you ha had ordered it. You'll be like, how did this get to my house so quick? Did I order this even? Maniology M048. I used this little bunny and this little flower for this set. You'll see there's a yellow kind of a tint to the nail. I, I think I'm pretty sure I use this. I told you about the frosted sugar cookie color. Also, another option for these jelly sandal nails are make a spectacle from China Glaze. There's all sorts of options. They're everywhere. It's spring. There's going to be pastels and sparkles and neons. This is what is happening here. So, I have shown you the plates. Let's see. I need a paper towel. Okay, so now that I've shown you the plates, I'm gonna go ahead and do a stamp. Um, we're gonna put a little white rabbit on the hot pink nail uh, because I have white stamping polish to hand, although I did knock over my acetone because that is what I do. Now, you're gonna wanna be quick with this unless you wanna use sticky base coat or a top coat. That's what I do a lot because I'm not so much about speed. I have an intermittent trimmer. Trimmer. There's no B in that. There are all sorts of fun little cheats that you can do if you have a disability as you kind of work your way through this hobby. I found mine along the way and I encourage you to find yours. Don't let it stop you. Inspiration is a very powerful motivator, for me at least. So here's my little bunny on my little tip. What should I do on him? Maybe an egg? Let's try an egg. Or maybe I'll do it on this guy. Well, I already used the stiletto shape, so let me, let me use the egg. Actually, I'll introduce you a new plate. I've used this before. This is our CADS Festival 019 plate. I'm telling you, you can use so many different plates to do this kind of a look. So I'm gonna grab this little leaflet flowery thing, this decorative, decorative look, spring thing. You know that I used to be a poet. I was working on my MFA at one time and, <laughs> and now I can't think of words. I used to paint with words and now I paint with nail polish. It's all cool. All right. I'm reminiscing, not regretting. Everything is an adventure. And there we go. All you need now is a top coat because there are so many layers involved here. I do recommend a top coat, a quick dry that cures the layers below it. That's different than dry curing. You're gonna have that rock hard crystal kind of a hardness to it. So I use Sesh Vite because you can buy it in a huge quantity. I have a uh, Nevermind has a beautiful quick dry top coat that I use for my nail art that I'm gonna post places. For example, I used it for these, for the good stuff. But these I am just to show you, maybe I will take a picture of it so that I can post it. Sometimes with certain pink polishes, you're gonna get some bleed through on this bunny. So if you have a, um, a water-based top coat, like one of the non-smears, then go ahead and put it down on top of the pink before you put that white down. That'll cut down on some of that bleed through. There's a tip to give you. 
Well, I used all the polishes and I used all the plates and I didn't even stamp on the nail I put on the diamond, but I still like it. So tell me what you think. Subscribe. Don't forget I have a giveaway at 1,500 subscribers. Right now it's U.S. only because shipping is so expensive for everything. Um, but uh, the last time I had a giveaway, I did say that if somebody wanted to... Um, pay for their shipping, you know, to Europe or Canada or wherever that I would absolutely ship it. Um, I just can only afford to ship to the U.S. But as soon as I hit that 1,500 uh, subscribers, so please subscribe, I will send out that giveaway video and I will tell you all the rules for the game that we're going to play. So uh, please comment, please like and subscribe, especially the like and comment um, that tells me whether you like the tutorial or not, or if you have any questions, or what your favorite nails were, or anything at all you ever want to say to me. I live for your comments. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side. Have a razorific day.